Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be covering the brand new event in Brawl Stars for two weeks now, the Star Drop event, which is absolutely insane. I got to see this a little bit of a sneak peek when I went over to Finland, and I was so excited because this is going to be very huge for the community. So we're going to be going through all things, give you guys a bunch of tips as well along the way, but of course, keep you guys informed. So if you're not actually sure on what it is, you can literally go in game, you see it actually pop up when you open up the game as well. And there's a lot of cool things so essentially what this star drop uh, event is you get double star drops every single day for two weeks starting today so instead of three daily star drops you get six which is absolutely insane i'll definitely be playing a lot of my mini accounts to make sure to make use of those double star drops and also there is a big community goal so if you've seen this right here uh, essentially, oh wait, I actually clicked on the wrong thing, but uh, when you go on the news tab, you can see this like ladder of progression. So essentially, I think after 500 million, uh, that's going to be like the epic one. Uh, then it's going to be the rare one, the mythic, and then legendary after every single kind of category. But once you get to 4 billion takedowns, essentially, you'll be getting that legendary star drop, which is just absolutely insane. And then every billion above 4 billion, you're going to be getting another legendary star drop. And it's an unlimited cap until the two weeks is over. So essentially, you know, theoretically, we could be getting up to like 10 billion takedowns, which is about five or six legendary star drops, which is absolutely insane. And then, uh, well, you can actually see right here. So we've got 500 million super rare, 1 billion epic, 2 billion epic star drop, 3 billion mythic, 4 billion legendary. And then every single billion, you begin another legendary. And also, make sure to subscribe and check out my community post and comment down your uh, social tag whether it's twitter whether it's your email whether it's instagram discord whatever it is make sure to comment that on my community post and subscribe as i mentioned so you can enter yourself into the chance of getting two of these codes i'm doing one giveaway on instagram as well which is spenlc.bs and my twitter on spenlc uh which you can see on my overlay anyway i'm doing five codes on twitter so that's your best chance of winning one but essentially with this um with this event you get 170 gems if you win it, but you get the chance to get a golden code, which is just an insane thing. Unfortunately, I can't enter into this giveaway and win one of these golden codes. It'd be so cool. I'll literally show you the animation of what they kind of did for about four minutes on the screen as well. But this magic wish could literally be anything. What they've shown in the short video is that you could literally ask for every single skin in the game. You could ask to give a bunch of pins to your best friends you could literally a million well they just put a million gems i didn't actually think they could give you a million gems that's that's insane so they're literally i think they could give you guys anything i'm hoping they don't give away the world final pins I, I, surely they don't give those away but other than that it's actually unlimited i think it's very hype one of the coolest things they've ever done and they've actually also done some other things as well so you can see uh, in the in-game news tab as well. Uh, after the maintenance, they've re-enabled this sixth slot. So essentially, there's four things that are running 24-7 right now. We have a showdown, we have brewable, gem grab, knockout, and then the other two slots will be siege and wipeout, uh, which will be interchanging, and then the same with heist and hot zone. So that's pretty good. What they did as well, which is really underrated, I'll pop it on the screen right now, is that uh, they've actually rebalanced drop rates. So the amount of coins, power points, and token doublers uh, received from straw drops, they've rebalanced it. So players will now receive less power points, less token doublers, but instead get more coins from straw drops from now on, which is absolutely insane. Everyone was crying out for more coins. I don't think there was like some, I don't think it was like a meltdown. Like me personally, I don't think the amount of coins that we got was really bad, but it's nice that they've buffed it because that's what most people were talking about in the community, especially since hypercharges came out, which is 5,000 to purchase one hypercharge, which is definitely a huge amount. And then the brand new uh, epic gear as well, the gadget charge gear, which is going to be taking a lot of coins from the economy. I think it was pretty safe to presume that they'll be buffing the economy clearly as well. And they're clearly setting it in the patch notes, which we definitely love. So now, basically, what we're going to be going through is how do we actually get takedowns and what is the best way to farm it so they actually explained in the video that the best ways to farm it is uh, probably going to be in friendly battle rooms i know last time when the mega box event was going on 
a lot of people just got into friendly rooms basically you can see what how i made the map you get three of your friends uh well actually five of your friends and just run at each other constantly with high dps brawlers like shelly for example rico you know brawlers that can get instant kills pretty fast and just run at each other for i think the best game mode for that's going to be brawl because you can go on for three minutes 30 you don't want to go on to bouncy or wipe out because now they actually have a kill limit I think before a year ago you could actually just go on bounty and just get just so many stars and just farm each other so easily so i think brubble is your best bet that's gonna be the best way to farm takedowns but I, I probably wouldn't recommend that because let's face it a few people doing that i mean if loads of people do it that'll make a big difference but a few people doing that i think it's a bit of a waste of your time to be honest i won't be doing it because there's only a small percentage of people that would be uh, kind of farming in friendly rooms but you can do it if you want a little bit of fun as well you can actually go into map make as well i think that's going to be pretty good for takedowns but of course it's very selective on the game mode and for me i think the best way of actually farming this in my opinion it has to be brutal for me 100 you want to be staying away from the game modes that are very passive so you don't want to be playing any bounty wipe out knockout you don't want to play in any of those game modes because they're very kill centric and can limit the amount of kills you get within a game and they're very passive it takes a while to engage in combat whilst brutal is literally in your face all of the time and the good thing about brutal as well well it needs to be a really aggressive map so you think of the map that it's literally out in rotation right now sneaky fields it's perfect for farming the amount of takedowns all i'm seeing right now is people readying up with like bull primo shelly all of these tanky brawlers which i absolutely love i got so many takedowns today so i think the best way to farm it by far is going to be brawl any grassy map which allows you to just abuse the speed gear get into the faces of the opponents really quick i think that's gonna be the best way to farm those takedowns in my opinion and then, of course, as I said, map maker, but map maker doesn't really do it for me. I think uh, I, I know it's really hype, and we run to be getting the most takedowns possible. But I, I just still consider it a waste of time, to be honest. If you go onto like map maker or friendly rooms, because you're not actually getting any trophies of it. Like you may as well uh, get like some mastery, a bit of your mastery grind as well. You may as well get some trophies on the way. You may as well even like play Power League a lot throughout the day to grind and get those bling as well. There's a lot of things that you can do to actually make it being in full as well not just playing friendly rooms for like hours on end i mean if you have fun doing that i wouldn't put yourself against it but it might get pretty boring just farming in a small enclosure <laughs> you know after like i don't know 10 minutes i think i'll get very bored of that but let me know down in the comment section below what you'll be doing to farm takedowns the most this is a very hype event i've just been speaking off my tongue because i'm actually really excited i think the community is very excited as well some of these community initiatives are some of my favorites by far this is the coolest thing they've done this year for sure as i mentioned it's, it's gone to skyrocket activity i just absolutely love events like this and there's a lot of underrated things that they've done as well so big win to brawl stars for listening to the community as always and i always appreciate the amount of effort they put into the game so that's gonna be it for today's video make sure to look out for my giveaways as i mentioned on all socials so subscribe for that one to have a chance to win and also make sure, make sure to subscribe because uh, tomorrow or the next day i'll be putting out my tier list so don't want to miss it so that's gonna be it for today's video hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.